Now for this question, we've got the line L1 has the equation 2x minus 3y plus 12 equals 0. And we're told that the line L1 crosses the x-axis at a point A and the y-axis at a point B as shown. And the line L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point B. And we've got to find the equation then for the line L2. So how do I do that? Well, the equation of the line L2 is going to have the form, say, y equals mx plus c. This is a good form to use when we're looking for, or when we know, the point that a line crosses through the y-axis. And we can find that point quite easily by putting when x equals 0 into the line L1. So if we just start with that, we can say for the point B, okay, we can say that when x equals 0, okay, we can sub into a, equation 1. Equation 1 being this equation up here. So if we sub that into 1, we have got that therefore 2 times 0, well that's 0, we would have just minus 3y plus 12 equals 0. And so therefore, if we add 3y to both sides, we therefore have 3y equals 12. Divide both sides by 3 and you get y equals 4. So therefore, what this leads to is that the coordinates of b must be 0, 4. Let's just update the diagram with that point there. We'll just put that as a point 4. Now, we've got the c value for the line L2 because we know that when x is naught, y would equal c, y would equal that value of 4. All we've got to get is the gradient. Now, the gradient of line L1 we worked out in an earlier part to this question, but just to run through it very quickly again, the gradient was the rearrangement of this, it was the coefficient of x when we had it in the form y equals mx plus c. So we knew that if we did this, the gradient of L1 okay, was that 3y equaled 2x plus 12, divide throughout by 3 and you got that y equals 2 thirds x plus 12 divided by 3, plus 4 in other words, okay? So the gradient of L1 was simply 2 thirds. So therefore, a perpendicular gradient should be found out by knowing that the product of two perpendicular gradients always comes to minus 1. So we can say, therefore, the gradient okay, of line L2 must equal minus 3 over 2. Just flip the fraction upside down and then change the sign. And you can see that if you multiply those two numbers together, you get minus 1, the perpendicular gradient rule. So now that we've got that, we're in a position to quote the equation of L2. So let's just come down here and we can say that therefore the equation of L2, just have a brief introduction, is, okay, rather than writing equals, is, and it'll be y equals m, okay, m being minus 3 over 2, x, mx, plus c, c being the coordinate there, the y value of the intercept, it'll be 4. It said find an equation for L2, and I've come up with an equation. It's up to you whether you decide you want to rearrange this, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay?